Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy BLS here, and today we got Sadig. We got Woodrow here with us. Oh, Sadig. <laughs> today is actually my birthday. Literally, it's my birthday. It's 12, 1234, May 5th. Uh, a lot of people knew that was my birthday, but if you guys didn't know, I was born on Secret of Mile. So, what I decided to do for my birthday is actually just do a QA, and he's going to do it with us. So, what we're going to do is, okay, all right. He hasn't seen any of the questions, so I told him. He's like, dude, what's the questions? We have 16 lined out, and I try to pick his ones that kind of relate to both of us, but some of them don't. So here we go, okay? And first of all, thank you guys for submitting your questions. I, I enjoyed going through them. But these are the, I have 16 questions, so that's quite a bit for a video. So first question is from Lazy Austy, and he says, have you ever thought about making your own team? How many teams have I had? Three, I think. I've had, I've had, a, I've already, I maybe three, maybe. I've made several teams. Yeah. What was the first team, above? Uh, above sniping. We had above sniping, and it was literally everybody, we, it was kind of like a, something from our town, because we had like, above sniping, and we had below sniping. Yeah. And the people, like, we would just make fun of them, basically, just like, because they couldn't make it above, so they ended up, all the people that we didn't let in above, basically made it below sniping, and we would just go into like, ground war games against each other and try to just fuck each other up. Yeah, that's a good concept, I feel like. Really? Kind of like how red is. <laughs> Everybody that's fucking, you know, <laughs> yeah. not on the level phase yeah. is in below. <laughs> so we did have that's like a phase and a red, so I, I was, I'll was i go ahead and take all the credit for that, so yeah. But above was one, and then thrill. Was there anything after that? I think that's it. There might be. But yeah, Thrill was the best one because we had like 3K. And then, and we only had like six people in it. We ended up having 3K. 3K is something bad. So yeah. Have you ever thought about making your own team? I think I. We you were did. in above, weren't you? I was for a second. But we we thought of. Uh, we made it. I made a team and it was called Big. <laughs> Just oh big. You remember? My God. Yes. My it's name like was Big you, Big X Sniper. You were it's like you, Dylan, both the Dylans and Clayton Daniel. Johnson was in yeah. there too. Yeah, I Big X that. Sniper. That was yeah, my fucking so name. he had his own team too. But they just played for fun because they didn't record. Alright, so the next question we got for Rob. Favorite school year and why? I fucking hated school. <laughs> this is high school. In years. Let's just go did you enjoy college at all? It was alright. I'd probably say maybe junior year of my high school. Why? Just because, uh, actually, fuck. <laughs> it's, it, it's between junior and senior year. Junior year, I feel like I hung out with a lot more people and, like, did a lot more shit, like, after school. Like, I mean, I had played football and baseball in high school so I mean I didn't have a lot of time but I feel like after that like I still had time to hang out like sophomore and freshman year there's no way I was sitting at home playing fucking Call of Duty till like 1 o'clock at night <laughs> that's how I was all throughout high school yeah. and college too like my freshman year in college I was the yeah. same way then sophomore I was like dude I gotta start studying but my favorite year junior year is my hardest year ever really? yeah high school? yeah I had hard classes I had like Kim 2 and shit like that in high school. It wasn't about that life. I'd say my senior year because it was the easiest. Yeah. Easiest cool. year by far was senior year. Yeah, I'd say easy year, yeah. That was like a walkthrough. Status asks, wow, that's a fucking tongue twister. Status asks, what are your favorite sports teams and would you ever try to play competitive Call of Duty? What's your favorite sports team? Probably the Washington Nationals, MLB. Oh shit, I was not expecting that. Um, football. I've been a Dallas Cowboys fan for a long time. <laughs> I know, I know. And then Saints. When Reggie Bush was there, dude, oh my god. That was my team when Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush was probably one my of my favorite players. My grandpa was a Saints fucking yeah. freak. But yeah, Reggie Bush, he was probably one of my favorite players, so that's kind of why I started watching the Saints. I don't watch a whole but lot of sports, though. I'd say... I don't watch soccer, so... Soccer, I don't watch that much. If I had to watch soccer, I'd say Barcelona because I love Messi. Um, I don't watch baseball at all. I just have to say Cardinals because it's the fucking closest. And that's the only baseball game I've ever been to is a Cardinals and a Brewers game. Albert Pujols hit three home runs that game too. Anyways, um, 
I don't watch much basketball. I only like Steph Curry and Kobe. Basketball, Cleveland, LeBron James. Baby. You just, you just. No, dude, I've liked LeBron before he left. I swear, I like before he left and everything. I didn't like Miami Heat while he was there. I've always, J.R. Smith, dude, he's been running that fucking thing forever. Kyrie Irving, he just came up. Oh my God, they're winning. The, they're winning the NBA Finals. I promise you. Play back this video. I swear, NBA Finals, Cleveland. Calling it. Okay. Anyways. Uh, would you ever try to play competitive Call of Duty? We tried. Dude, we <laughs> yeah, definitely I would. One hundred percent. If I had a chance, I would take that. Like, beat. if we kind of like, if some like not huge person like Nate Shot, but if someone was like, "Yo, I'm starting a team," and me and Dalton got on a team, one hundred percent, I would try to make. I'd literally grind all the fucking time. I seriously I would, would. I would literally I'd get like, two hours sleep. Yeah. yeah, I'd stay up a lot. I would do like UMGs and MLGs. Yeah, so competitive, like competitive Call of Duty or CS:GO. I would do either one. CS:GO is more competitive, but Call of Duty I'm just better at. Next question is from Slothnax. All right, what are your overall goals with YouTube life that you wish to achieve? He doesn't do YouTube, so what's your overall life goals? Own a vape store. Find a honey. Have a couple kids, maybe two, and make a lot of money. Honey, money, and kids. <laughs> honestly, I can. I, I guess I can agree with that. But YouTube wise, YouTube wise, I just want to hit 100k right now. Uh, 100k seems like uh, a goal that I could achieve, and it would take a while. But as far as YouTube, 100k, and then phase, obviously. As far as life, um, realistically, I want to specialize in imaging, which is like specializing like in x-ray machines and all that, because you make a ton of money doing that. So I want to do that, and then like have just like a banging ass wife, like Jen Selter, have like maybe one or two kids, she is, do that booty though. And then, um, uh, unrealistically, I just want to fucking be a rapper. Going on tour all the time would be so fucking dope. Just going on tour, getting fucked up, making tons of money, and then end the tour, make more music, and just keep doing it for like 10 years. It's a way to live by. Chaz asks, what's your favorite food? I think I know yours, but I'm not for sure. I have two favorite foods. I'm going to say pizza's one. Pizza, and if you can make French toast, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you can make a fucking bomb ass French toast, you've got me for life, honestly. <laughs> French toast is for breakfast and then pizza. I can eat lunch and dinner, so. My favorite, I think, like, I can just devour some macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is good. I just can't have too much of it. I, I can devour it. macaroni and cheese. I can eat chavas a lot, too. I did it in college. But as far as my favorite food ever, I'm going to have to go with some shrimp. Shrimp? Dude, shrimp. Which kind? Just like Any type of shrimp, I can eat it. Like bread Peel and shrimp. eat, breaded shrimp, grilled shrimp garlic shrimp anything I, any type of shrimp i'd eat it i had some fire shrimp at, at hooters the other day oh my gosh it was so good okay what's your biggest source of inspiration ps love you dude ha, sorry love you too what's your source this dude is fucking john bones jones <laughs> uh i mean that's a pretty good analysis whatever you call it. <laughs> i don't know what you call it um I'm I'm a big MMA fan, UFC. John Bones Jones, he fucked up. He's a fucking badass though. He'll fuck anybody up in fucking YouTube land. But yeah, he fucked up. He I mean he got caught with like you know cocaine and shit like that in the system after his one fight with Daniel Cormier, and then he got that two car accident or like, actually a three car accident. He 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 hit him and ran and he went back to his fucking truck and. He just fucked all up, dude, and like, so, he, uh, he's got, I think he's got a, his self, like, fucking wrapped around, he knows what he's gonna be doing now, so, shut the <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's, that's who I look up to, cause he fucked up bad, man, and like, he turned himself around, now he's fighting again, he just won his last fight against Ovin, State Peru, Dude, that that, that fight, his out his intro song was badass. Yeah, dude. It was I'm coming home, and that was his first fight back. And that was he had, he didn't fight for like 467 days, and like 
he fucking walk out song was I'm coming home coming home and everybody just fucking screamed dude and like yeah he's my biggest inspiration dude as as far as mine um I'd probably put two people in it one of them is Mark Wahlberg I fucking love that dude fucking love Mark Wahlberg I wish I was gonna say, I was gonna know you were gonna say that because of Shooter yeah. dude I, my name came off of a movie that Mark Wahlberg starred in so I just fucking love Mark Wahlberg uh he went from like like he kind of did what I I want to do. He like was a rapper and he was like a really corny rapper, um, and then he was like he went from a rapper to an actor and he's like a good ass rapper or actor now. Um, another one is Logic. This Logic is fucking dope. Came from like bottom, and now look at him, fucking pimp. BFD asked, "What's your favorite clip you fit? You first. This I one. Be advised, hostile counter is online. Another kill. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Headquarters online. Was that a quad? That one. Oh my god. Oh my. Dude, you're getting an obey. Hostile UAV incoming. What happened? Hey. He hit the hey. fucking quad. He's out. Dude, that was the craziest fucking clip ever, dude. I cannot believe, like, when I hit that, and the crazy thing was for the Obey recruitment challenge, and I didn't fucking get in. That's the best clip in the whole challenge, easy. And I didn't get in. Because that one shit tried to fucking expose me, remember? Yeah, that was good. Oh my god, that was retarded. Alright, what's your best clip ever? Had been a trick shot. It's definitely MW2. Yeah. I quit fucking, basically quit all playing Call of Duty after everybody stopped playing MW2. Yeah. Because, I mean, that was my funnest game. I knew I had a fucking trick shot, and Black Ops 2 people were doing some fucking crazy <laughs> ass shit. And then it was just like, I think it's getting stupid now. So, hopefully, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I like that Call of Duty 4 remastered. It looks fucking good. And hopefully they do an MW2 one. Oh, my God. If they had to do an MW2 remastered, then... It'd have been game it, over. Yeah. It'd be game over. Everybody would be playing that for the rest of their fucking... Yeah. But, um, favorite clip, Terminal. I had a 1080 care package stole, and you weren't even there. I know. He didn't record, so I can't show you yeah, it. Yeah, but... fucking 1080 care package stole. The dude off was the red roof? Yeah, off the red roof. The, the care package was on the side, and the dude was in the plane. Fucking... It, I about landed before I hit it, oh, but I was shit. like... It was literally like... Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking damn close. But back in those days, I was really good. Yeah. That was really fucking good. Okay, this is just one for me. It's PFD. How do you like it in Psycho? It's pretty good. Uh, all the dudes are super chill in there. I didn't really know how I was going to take it because this is the first big team I've been in, but it's actually really chill. And hopefully I can like it. I know people were asking me if I was going to put out an episode on Psycho, and I plan on it. It's just I got to play Call of Duty more. It's just I don't play Call of Duty a lot, so... I gotta start playing Call of Duty and grinding clips on my new gamer tag, and then I'll have an episode out for sure. All right, next one. When did you get into trick shotting? We just answered this one. When did you get into trick shotting, and what game did you first start on? We got into trick shotting what 2011. MW2. Yep, MW2. That's that's what we started on. And the thing. And then is, after that, like after that, the games weren't that good at trick shotting, so that's when I just started you know, sniping again. The thing is, we started when Zerka was putting out the fucking like jump off no scope or like fucking quick scope across the map yeah that's when we started we we're like damn that shit's cool or we're gonna start trying and then we then and like then, not too long i bought a dazzle yeah and then we just fucking started from there and then everybody just fucking kept getting fucking better shit better fucking quality fucking recording things and because i remember just, one clip where me drew and james were playing team tack and i was up on top of query and i wall banged the guy through two it was just a no scope wall banging standing yeah. And that was like fucking crazy. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, Drew freaked out like a little girl. Oh shit, he mark on my ass! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did it you see that? Anyway. Did you see that though? Yeah. Fucking hit marker! Oh! 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 Oh my god. 
<laughs> Dude, that was awesome! Holy shit! Oh my god! I just jizzed! <laughs> Cryptic's ass. What got you into YouTube, and what's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? This is all me. Um, what got me into YouTube is basically, like he said, like, we would watch people like Zerka and Fakey and all them, and, like, we wanted to do that, too. And, like, I guess the reason I started it, started it is because, like, you can even ask him, like, out of all the people we played, I was, like, one of the better ones, like, sniping, trickshotting, I was just one of the better ones, and then they were, like... Dude, Brad, you can do all that shit that Zerka and Fake you're doing. Like, I've watched you do it. You can do that. You need to start doing YouTube. Well, then that's when I bought a Dazzle. Well, then, like, I bought a Dazzle, and, like, three months later, like, PVR's worth thing. Not, maybe not three months, but... Yeah. But, like... Something better, I mean... Just then, people didn't watch my quality, because on my old channel, my Prox HD, actually had had 1,000 subscribers, which is a lot back then. But, yeah. My favorite part about being a YouTuber, I guess, is just upload, like just uploading and seeing feedback I just like to read what people think about the video I guess and just growing a fan base and then hopefully one day going to an event MLG Anaheim's they already announced the date I want to go four, four fucking flights dude we should go what date is it? I don't know sometime June or July can't remember we should go though Leave a like on this video if you want us to go to ML MLG means, Anaheim. You get 10,000 likes, I'll go. <laughs> 10,000? That's yep. not going to happen, so you ain't going to go. <laughs> 10,000 likes. Okay. <laughs> Next question is from uh, Sunbro. If you joined FaZe and moved into the FaZe house, what uh, or what would you do about Blaziken? I'd push that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'd push him. Push him real hard. <laughs> If I joined FaZe and went to the FaZe house, I probably would just try to stay away from Blaziken as much as I can. Um, I'm, a, I'm not the type of dude that would just be like, every time I see him, like, dude, get the fuck away from me. But, like, if I don't like somebody, I'll just try to avoid them as much as possible so we don't have any, any like, situations go on. So I don't want to have to be someone's ass. <laughs> if you can be in the position of any YouTuber right now, who would it be? And I know... Ooh. This is a really good question because I know who I, I would be in because, one, they have fun. Two, they have a large fan base. We're not pick who I'm picking. Okay, we're going to say it on three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Van Vanoss. <laughs> yes! Yeah, dude, they fucking have fun dude, all the time. Dude, dude, that's the thing. Like, when I make some of my videos, like, I'm not having fun. Like, you see me, like, I fucking rage. They, him, Delirious, many lads, all of them, they have fun doing all that shit. And if I had a crew that could do that, I'd literally just make fun videos like that. And Vanoss just makes the funniest videos. Like, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's not my favorite YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber is Joe Weller. But Vanoss is like second or third easy. Cause he, he showed me about him too. He showed me yeah. about Vanoss. And it was like, what, three months ago? Yeah. He's, three months uh, ago? He's cool, dude. I mean, Vanoss is. Fan base too. Oh my yeah, dude. He's him. only showed his face like fucking three times. I know, and I want to see what Delirious is like. Know. Dude, I want to see. If you guys have a picture of Delirious, please fucking yeah. tweet, tweet us. Tweet us, dude. <laughs> I want to see what Delirious Dude, he thinks Delirious is black. Yeah, one video he was like. It was a GTA video. Yeah, it was a GTA video, and I swear, I think he's black, so. If I'm right, I get a million dollars. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Alright, next one is from. Trenton, he says, what sports did you play? Do you still play them, and were you Garbo? Okay, in high school, I mean, I played everything up until junior high. Baseball, basketball, soccer, you fucking name it, I, I played it. In high school, I only played, I played soccer in the fall, I bowled in the winter, and I golfed in the spring. My, and literally, those, like, soccer was my better best sport, then bowling, then then golf. I was pretty good at all of them, so I really wouldn't say I'm Garbo. I went to semi-state once in soccer, and I went to semi-state twice in bowling. But we just didn't have a good golf team, so we didn't go very far. And I was, like, mediocre. I wasn't the best. I was, like, two or three, if you guys know what that means on the golf team. So, so yeah, go ahead. Um, This guy was a physical motherfucker. <laughs> sports that I played, it was football. Um, Back in the day, I wrestled. 
like I was on a wrestling team like seventh and eighth grade, but I quit that so I could have more time, uh, like for football and baseball, and then Call of Duty. That's how like freshman. But my senior year, I I played football, I wrestled and baseball. My probably the best sport I was best at would be baseball. baseball. Uh, football was my funnest sport. I mean, I ran people over for a living, dude. I did. Every, half the time, half the time, our students, like our like friends, like in high school, would come to watch me. Honestly, just because I mean, I, I just like love hitting people. Honestly, <laughs> um, that was my funnest sport to play. And then wrestling was kind of just like a like a sport to get in shape. I actually didn't didn't do that bad. I. You were ripped. Dude. Yeah, I, I lost. Like I started after football, and like you play football, and then it'd be wrestling, then baseball. Wrestling, like I I weighed 170 in football, and I dropped like at the end of wrestling I was at 145. So I was fucking like diced up, dude. <laughs> like the the cardio and that shit. Oh my god, it's terrible. But I think I finished with like 12 pins and like like nine losses it was like 12 and or it was actually it was like 14 and 9 but my senior year I had no clue what I was doing I just basically used muscle to fucking get to the people to the ground so and then baseball is probably the best at um uh I got the highest batting average and I got on all conference my senior year so my name's on the board when you go to the baseball stadium you'll see my name all conference <laughs> did you get a picture on the wall it's like I don't know. In high school? No. You didn't? No, I think they quit that. But I got that, and then Garbo. I guess I'd be Garbo at wrestling. So. I'm, I'm on the wall. <laughs> Next question is from Matt Bell, okay? And this is this is kind of like a sudden Indiana thing. So, do you like fishing? I'm only asking because all I do is make fishing videos. Do you like fishing? I'll fish. I'll catfish. Basically, catfish and bass fish. I mean bluegills and stuff like that yellow bellies i'll fish those too but we actually have a lake like I, my parents own a spot like a lake so i mean we have catfish bass carps i mean fishing yeah i don't go seek out to do it but when i have time yeah i'll go do it oh, it's not bad. yeah i i like fishing a lot i'm actually planning on a, a trip going to uh down to alabama to with the almighty for a weekend and we're gonna go fishing so that will be coming up in the summer. You guys will see that because me and him talked about it. Uh, we were texting each other and just figuring out what what a good date would be. And so when I move up to Michigan, I'm basically just going to figure out a good date to go down there, fly down there and go fishing with them. But I, I like he said, I fish. My dad used to have a bass boat. We fish for bass all the time, crappie. But I think my favorite is bluegill fishing. Just because you, there's never a dull, mom, a dull moment. Like you literally, there was this one time that we would fish and it was just a small like horseshoe pond and you would throw it out and your bobber would not even stop bouncing in the bait would and and some you'd get a bite we ended up catching like 400 there and you'd have like red ear and stuff it was we were just relocating them we weren't uh flaying them or anything but yeah dude fishing fishing something i'd like to do rhino asked what's your favorite cypher and call of duty game well yeah we already answered call of duty we kind of answered call of duty game what's your favorite call of duty i think it's probably between two W2 or I mean Black Ops 2 I had the funnest probably I mean, over MW2 no MW2 first then Black Ops 2 MW2 I had the I mean I love trick shotting that was like my number one it's like dude let's get a six man every day dude every yeah you can see people going home you get on yeah 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 before you leave high school like 320 where the bell yeah. is you get on an Xbox tonight all right man I'll invite you yeah, it was like that but, almost every day. And then Black Ops 2, I, I sniped, but more of the time I was just trying to get fucking Max Prestige the fastest. <laughs> That's basically what it is. I finally got Max, or not finally, but I got Max Prestige. Favorite sniper, Intervention, or Ballista Before Patch? Or, or DSR. DSR. DSR Before Patch, yeah. All right, my favorite my favorite Call of Duty game is M MW2 by far. I had Black Ops 2 is a good game, but I didn't have as much fun on Black Ops 2 as I did MW2 because I we played with our friends every day, so like our friends that live in our town. So by far, MW2 is the best game. Favorite sniper is between the Intervention and the M40. M40 is fucking flawless. That's like, not bad. All right, so um, we're gonna do the ser more serious one first. We got two more questions. 
This one is from uh, Amped, and he says, What is your opinion on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and will you be playing it more or COD 4 Remastered? COD 4 Remastered. Maybe. If Infinite Warfare is on the ground, I'll probably play that more, but... I'll be playing a lot of COD 4 Remastered. Yeah. A lot. But, like you said, if Infinite Warfare is like a normal Call of Duty, then I'll, I'll like play it a lot. But COD 4 Remastered is just going to be fucking booming. Easy. Everybody's gonna be playing that, especially like people who play COD 4 all the time. 100%. Yeah. All right, the last question is from Justice, and he says, "Yeah, he says, what's your tenth last phone you have taken on your phone?" But I think he meant picture. So your tenth last picture that you took on your phone? Me first. Okay, let's see. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's me, Austin, and Bryce. So this is my la this is my t tenth last picture that I took on my phone. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. That's me, Austin, and Bryce. I was <laughs> I was hoping it'd be <laughs> I was hoping it'd be one of the <laughs> one of these. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> or this one of Jared. <laughs> but yeah, that's my tenth that's my tenth last picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This fucker right here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? This dude was talking shit about Kyle on Twitter. And I was gonna tweet that picture out. That was his fucking profile picture. This kid shit. This kid I was talking shit about my friend. So I was gonna be like. Look at that face dude. <laughs> it's constipated. <laughs> I wish there was something like this. No, <laughs> why do you have that on your phone? <laughs> I had that on my phone because I wanted to get that face swap of that <laughs> face. I took some, like, new Snapchat update is fucking, it's funny. That is funny. Alright guys, well, for my birthday, I just wanted this to hit 200 likes, that's it, just 200. Okay, so 200 likes for this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks Dalton for being in the video. Sorry to Jared, he couldn't be in the video. He had to go home early. Anyways, guys, this has been your boy, BLS, and Woodrow. And we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Peace out.